So let's do another problem, since all of these are going to be very similar. So we have this parabola, y equals x squared, and we want to shift it up four units. So we know we have our parent function, that's what we start with, and somehow we want to make everything move up four units. But remember, shifting up and down concerns with adding and subtracting on the outside. So if we want to go up, we would add. If we want to go down, we would subtract. So our new equation would be y equals x squared, and we want to go up four units, so we will add four on the outside. And to make sense of this, you can plot points, since if you plug in zero, you get zero squared plus four, which is zero. That's this point here. If you plug in one, one squared is one plus four would give you five. That would be this point here. If you plug in negative one, you get the same y value of five. If you plug in two, two squared is four plus four is eight. So that would be somewhere up here on our curve. But you can verify this. It shifted the entire curve, this parent function, up four units. And again, you can always check these with either a graphing calculator or if you go to the website Desmos, since that's just a free graphing calculator. So the new equation of this parabola would be y equals x squared plus 4. And let's continue with these. So now this one, we're starting again with our parent function, and we're shifting to the right by 8 units. Now remember that when we're shifting left or right, we're going to be adding or subtracting on the inside. So we'd end up with y equals some set of parentheses squared, where x is going to be either added or subtracted to. And since we want to go to the right, remember that when we're dealing with the inside, when we're dealing with shifting left or right or horizontally, it's always the opposite of what you'd expect. So we know if we want to go up by 8 units, we would add 8 on the outside. But when we want to go right units, we wouldn't add, we would subtract. So in this case, we're going to subtract 8. And again, the way to make sense of this is you want to think which x value makes this expression 0. And that would be positive 8. And since positive 8 makes this 0, that tells us that we're shifting the vertex in the positive direction 8 units. So you can check this with your graphing calculator, or you can just start plotting points and see if it makes sense. Did your entire function shift to the right 8 units? So in the box here, we'd put x minus 8 squared. And if we want to go left, we would have to add 8, because negative 8 would be the value that makes the expression equal to 0. So now we're given a graph, and our function has been shifted. So the function g can be thought of as a translated or shifted version of f of x equals x squared. So notice the blue one is our parent function. That's this f of x equals x squared, and g is the shifted version. But notice, if we, for this one, look at key points, like let's say this vertex, let me change colors. So the vertex, notice, is now three points lower, and the point 1, 1 is now at 1, negative 2. So that's also three points lower. Same with negative 1, 1, that's now at negative 1, negative 2. And at the point 2, comma 4, that's now at 2, comma 1. But in all of these, the difference between these points is 3. Everything essentially was shifted down 3 units. So for g, compared to f, it's shifted down 3 units. And to go up and down, we're just going to add or subtract on the outside. So in this case, it's your normal parabola, x squared, but we're going to take away 3 from all the y values. Since remember that the function is equal to y. So when we subtract 3 on the outside, all the y values compared to the parent function are now 3 values lower. And actually, let's do one more where we compare this left and right and up and down at the same time. So we have our y equals x squared. That's our parent function. And we need to know what would the new equation look like if we go down by 6 and to the right 5. So to go up and down, we know we're going to add or subtract on the outside. So we know we're going to be subtracting 6 on the outside. But to go left or right, we're going to deal with the inside. So we'll have some set of parentheses here where x 
is going to be added or subtracted from. And since we're going right 5, remember when we're dealing with the inside, it's the opposite of what you'd expect. So instead of adding 5 because you're going in the positive direction, we're going to subtract 5. We're going to do the opposite. And again, make sense of this because if you think about which x value makes this 0, that would be positive 5, which is why we're going 5 in the positive direction. And then again, this down 6, we're just going to subtract 6 on the outside. So again, I encourage you, graph this, see if it makes sense, just to check your work. But the answer we'd put in the box, y equals x minus 5 squared minus 6.